Hey guys, I'm Tori Sterling and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing a video that I did twice before and the first time that everyone loved it. Second time I think I didn't explain it well so I think people were kind of confused. So this is a get ready with me but I'm not like, it's not a chit chat get ready with me. It's like a how long it really takes me to get ready. So I sped up the video and I kept a timer on it and I sped up the timer with the time of the actual video. I'm voicing over what I'm doing, but I'm pretty much just telling you guys and showing you guys how long it really takes me to get ready if I'm doing like a full beat type of face. Obviously uh, my hair kind of went to uh, in this video, but um, I think that's kind of funny because you guys can kind of see my fail. And this is like my go-to hairstyle when my hair fails. It's literally just this with like this. So it's nothing special, but I mean, every time I wear this, people say that they really like my hair like this, and they always ask me to like show them how I do it. Um, but honestly, my hair is an oily mess right now because I got a massage yesterday. And you know when they like massage you, they put oils like all over your body. Well, they have like oil on their hands and they massage your scalp. It's the best part of the massage, honestly, but it kind of ruins your hair. But anyway, besides the point, um, this is really just to show you guys how long it really takes girls to get ready because I remember when I was in like 8th grade and I would wake up at like 5.30 a.m. to make sure that I would have enough time to do my makeup like how all the girls that I watched on YouTube to do it. I felt so stupid and so silly getting up at 5.30 a.m. to do my makeup because like on their videos it makes it look like they can do their makeup in like 20 minutes and look flawless and like I, that's not real life, you know what I mean? Like this is real life. I'm pretty sure this took me an hour to do. It's really just to show you guys how long it actually takes me and girls in general to get ready. If you guys are new to my channel, be sure to hit that subscribe button down there. Um, we just hit 300,000 subscribers last night, which is so crazy. Thank you guys so much for 300,000 of you guys. I still remember hitting 1,000 subscribers. I was in the car and I was with my friend in Madison and I hit it and I was like, Madison, I just hit a thousand subscribers and we started screaming. Like, it is just so crazy that I'm now at 300,000 subscribers and you guys just keep coming and growing and the family is getting so big and I'm loving it. I cannot believe how many new people are coming. Like, every day it's so amazing. So if you guys are watching this and you're new, be sure to subscribe. It's a really fun family. I upload content all the time and I try to talk to as many of you guys as I can. I always try to reply to all your comments. I always try to answer your Instagram DMs. I always try to talk to you guys as much as I possibly can. So be sure to subscribe and join the fam. So I'm going to stop talking and let's get on to the video. Hey girl, how are you? It's me. So normally when I start getting ready, it takes me a little while because I have to gather all my products um normally if i'm like at my vanity and not at my filming table it's a little quicker but it does take me a little bit of time to gather my products and here i'm looking at my disgusting oil infused hair my hair literally has so much oil in it it's really gross it's making my roots look so dark and honestly i could have showered but i'm way too lazy to wash my hair so I'm just going to wash it tonight before I go to bed so I don't have to deal with straightening it all again. So first things first, I moisturize and prime. I've been using the Glam Glow Glow Starter Moisturizer. Um, and then the Makeup Forever, I'm sorry, the First Aid Beauty Coconut Smoothing Skin Primer. You guys know I'm obsessed with that. And then I use the Mario Badescu Rose Water Spray. And then a little bit of the, or I guess a lot of it, Hourglass Vanishing Foundation Stick. I love this foundation it's seriously so bomb so good i'm just obsessed and then i go and i bronze my face a little bit um this is the chalet chalet <laughs> the chanel soleil de 10 something and then the becca aqua luminous concealer blend that all out da -da 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 -da. that's what i'm doing here and then i go in and I set it in and I bake it. Lately, instead of letting the powder kind of just sit on top of my skin, I've been pressing it in until it's pretty much dissolved in. And I feel like that sets it a little bit better, highlights it pretty much the same as baking, um, but it just makes it look a little more natural and melts into my skin more than just having the makeup sit on top of my skin and kind of let it absorb on its own. Um, as you guys know, I always bronze with Hoola Bronzer by Benefit. And then lately I've been into contouring my nose. I go in 
phases of like do I like contouring my nose don't I right now I'm just doing like a slight contour a little light slay of the nose if you will I'm sure like next week I'll hate my nose contour but for the time being I'm into it I also use the liquid highlighter today but I also use the powder one over top of it so don't be too confused I don't know like liquid highlighters in me I just feel like if I put liquid over powder, it's just gonna be cakey because then all of a sudden I hear Candy Johnson coming out of the back of my brain saying like, don't put liquids over powders. So that's, I don't know why I have that, but I don't know, I thought it looked pretty good. I set it with a powder, so I know Candy would be pretty happy about that, but uh, I love Candy Johnson. She's so OG. Okay, little blush, that was Becca Snapdragon. I'm gonna have all the products listed down below so you guys know what I'm using. I'm filling in my eyebrows. I just did an eyebrow routine, so I will have that linked below always. Um, it's always linked down below in all my videos now, so it's just like under my popular vids. It's my brow routine. So there's that. Um, but lately, I've been doing a way more natural brow. I kind of just define the shape of my brow, and then I find that that like makes my brows look filled in and then I literally just touch over the sparse areas and it's like good to go. I don't know, it's like super weird, but it makes filling in my brows really easy and I really like it. And I'm not even on my eyes yet and I've already been here for 30 minutes. Okay, well here I am on my eyes. Okay, so this was a tutorial. And if I keep looking at my phone, it's because I was following a tutorial. And I like to do this a lot because I like to see what works best for tutorials. Like, do voiceovers work best? Do talking work? Like, whatever happens in a tutorial, I like to follow them on YouTube just to see how you guys are when you guys try to follow my tutorials. So I'm going to have the tutorial that I followed at link down below. I can't remember her name off the top of my head. I think it's like Sarah e. Delucy De or something like that absolutely stunning she is beautiful and gorgeous and the eyeshadow look that she did was so incredibly beautiful that as soon as I saw it I was like I have to recreate it it was using the Too Faced Sweet Peach palette so I'm really happy because I feel like I haven't used that palette as much as I would like to but this look I'm still wearing it I'm just obsessed with it I think it is so gorge and so 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 pretty so I'm really happy that I tried it out but as I said I'm gonna have it linked down below um, and it, since it's not my tutorial, I didn't want to really like do a get ready with me talking video or tutorial using this because it's already done on YouTube. So go watch hers. It's really, really pretty. But yeah, I just recreated it today. And um, yeah, I really like how it turned out. I thought it was really pretty and smoky and glam, but like still daytime wearable. Like I would totally wear this like to the mall, to dinner, to lunch, to breakfast, to brunch, to work out, to shop, to anything. Um, my wings were really giving me difficulty today, and as I was doing my wings, I realized that I haven't done a wing in a really long time. Like, I don't know how long, but at least a few weeks. Like, it, I have to yawn. Oh my god, sorry. I can't believe I just did that. That was so rude. <laughs> I'm boring myself with my own video. Um, what was I saying? Oh yeah, it's been at least a few weeks since I have done a wing. And you can tell because I was a little uh, crusty and dusty. I had to clean up my mistakes a few times, as you can see here. I was a little not on my A game, but that's fine. It's whatever. Um, this eyeliner, let me talk about it for a second, that I put on my waterline. It's the M Cosmetics. Remember that line by Michelle Phan? Her waterliner is the best ever. You guys are literally going to be so shocked at what I'm doing here. I'm putting on lashes, but they are not Ardell Wispies. You guys have told me to try out the Kiss Faux Mink Lashes, so I got a few different styles and I tried them out, and today uh, I first put on this one pair. I forget what it was called. It started with B. Um, I put it on and it was a little too subtle for the look, so I took it off and I replaced the lashes. So the lashes that I see, this is like the first pair, that it looked so good for like a natural look. Oh my god, it was gorge, but it was just, it was a little too not dramatic enough for this eye. I wanted my lashes to be a little bit more of a statement look. So I grabbed another Kiss Foaming Lash Pair in the shade Gala. And it's coming up here. But anyway, it was in the shade Gala, and I really, really like these lashes. I think the band is super flexible. Um, even though it's a thick band, I'm normally a little, like, I don't know, nervous about thicker bands because I think... 
they're harder to work with but this thick band was super flexible and it was really really easy to work with so yeah um i can definitely like use these lashes in much more videos if you guys want me to but it was really easy to put these lashes on um and i really really liked how they look and i'm still wearing them now and they still feel really comfortable on my eye so yeah tori sterling not using ardell wispies who am i i don't even know but yeah i'm a big fan of the kiss foam ink lashes i think they're really good here i am already at an hour in one minute and i'm just on lashes i didn't even do my hair and the best part of this entire video is i literally didn't even get dressed either and um it still took me like an hour and 20 minutes or whatever to do my excuse of a hair and a beat face so that was really good here i am putting on the other eyelashes and you can see just how quick it took me to put those on literally just like a few little moves and i was done and here's where i started feeling myself and i was like "Ooh, girl like this is what I'm talking about like this is a really good look so I'm really glad that I tried out this tutorial because it's like a hot look I'm a big big fan of this look I really like it lips I mixed together Coco K by Kylie her liquid lip and then I mixed um, satin ribbon by NYX on top of it and I think that combo was so pretty and then I just put a little bit of concealer on the edges to clean it all up because I was a little messy and I did not care. So I just cleaned it up with some concealer, added a little bit of mascara, inner corner highlight, you know, just finishing off the face, doing a little finishing touches. And then, yay, I loved it. As you guys can tell, I started taking some Snapchats of my makeup because it just looked so good. And I had to include this because honestly, like this is what girls do. Well, at least this is, what, this is what I do. Like when I'm feeling how my makeup looks or how I'm looking, I just like stop what I'm doing and I take pictures of myself and I don't really care. <laughs> okay. My hair, like I said, it's a hot mess. Oil. We've been through this. You guys know the drill. You guys know my life story at this point. So remember how in my haul I said that I got the Way Dry Shampoo Foam? Yeah. Well, I tried it out today and it just... As you guys can tell by my face, I was so, like, iffy about it. Like, ah, I don't know. It's just so weird to put, like, a mousse in your dry hair. I don't know. It did give my hair a lot of volume. I will give it that. But it didn't help with the oil or anything. Like, I still think it looks oily. I, I don't know. I, it just didn't really do too much like I just kept putting it on because I was waiting for it to work almost but I mean my hair doesn't feel more clean when I use like a powder dry shampoo my hair feels sort of clean but with this one it just didn't really feel clean so anyway this little hairstyle that I do I really just make sure that my ears are covered I pull it back and then I pull a few pieces down and I tie it back in a bun and that's really it um so yeah then this is pretty much me I'm kind of done and um, I'm just dancing <laughs> because I really like how I look and I thought it was pretty fun so yeah that's it <laughs> okay me dancing my dancing is honestly just spin moves on the bike okay I'm embarrassing gotta go <laughs> So thank you guys so much for watching this video. I really hope you guys all enjoyed it. If you guys want to see my last real-time guide with me, I have that right here. And then if you guys want to see another tutorial using the palette that I use, you guys can click right there. So thank you guys so much, and I'll talk to you in my next video. Bye!